Big book. I bet, I bet he is a very, very learned scholar. Big book, eh? Big book, you know. Wow, eh? um, oh. boy. Here comes another adventurer. Hey, hi, hi, hi. Hi. How are you and where are you from? Uh, Grandpa, who are you and what is that big book for? <laughs> I am a geographer. Oh, what does a geographer do? <laughs> what does a geographer do? Well, we specialize in the recordings of the sea and ocean, rivers and lakes, cities and towns, Oh, is this? Can you tell me what rivers we have here in Singapore? Um, here. What rivers do we have in Singapore? You miss. What rivers? Bigger. Okay, that's one river. Okay, you miss. What river? Singapore River. Okay, then what mountains and hills do we have here? What mountains do we have here in Singapore? Bukit Timah. Bukit Timah. Yes. Hill. Hill. Okay, then. Okay, then what historic or scenic landmarks do we have here? What historic and what scenic landmarks? Now it's coming. You saw over there. Historic scenic landmarks. Malayan. Oh, wow. Malayan. Go in more now. Huh? What? Huh? Oh, something. Ten minutes more. Ten minutes more. Ten minutes more. Grandpa, you see, although we're not tourist guides, but we also all know, right? Yeah. So why shouldn't you if you're a lawn scholar? How come no one ever told me that there's these places in Singapore? But then, I'm not an adventurer. I'm a scholar. My job is to sit in my studies and wait for adventurers to come and tell me what they have found. So far, no one has told me <laughs> about these things in Singapore. So, I shouldn't know. Okay, now you tell me. Where are you from? I'm the little prince from planet BB-88. Ah, what did you say? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm the little prince from planet BB-88. Oh. Tell me what is there worth recording on this little planet? Um, my planet has two active volcanoes. His planet, I mean my planet has two active <laughs> volcanoes. Uh, one I use for boiling water. One I use for boiling water, yeah. And the other one I use to cook rice. And the other one I use to, yeah, cook mm. rice. Mm. There is also an inactive volcano. There's also an energy right. Which I, uh, I use for bathing. Ew. <laughs> I mean, which I use for bathing, yeah. No, uh, there are no. At, uh, no, not There are no forests on my planet. There's no forests on my planet. And there are no seas. And there's no seas. But there is a small rose plant. There's a small rose plant and a small goat. Uh, and a small goat, yeah. <laughs> hey, don't you stop writing? No, no, no. I don't record temporary things, things that passed away. You don't record temporary things, things that pass away. I only record things that are permanent and lost. Permanent, lasting. Then I don't suppose you know how to grow a rose plant or keep a goat, do you? Grow a rose plant? Keep a goat? Why would you do things like that? Then I'm sure you do not know how to protect the rose from being eaten up by the goat, do you? To protect the rose from being eaten up by a goat? <laughs> Grandpa, do you like to dance? It's very, very ridiculous. Okay, now. <laughs> all, I'm, all I'm trying to tell you is that so many very, very, very important things in this world for you to do. Why would you waste your time growing those plants keeping goats? 
I mean, how boring would it be if there were no trees or flowers on mountains and hills? How monotonous it would be if there were no cows and sheep on the plains? How lonely would it be if there were no if there's no prawns and fish in the rivers? How painful it would be if there were no oases in the desert? Yeah, Grandpa, you see, you see no value in things that are temporary, but just think, if there were no temporary scholars like yourself, they won't be your, like, your learned <coughs> property, wouldn't it? <coughs> Ignorant, uneducated, good for nothing. <laughs> Uh, uh. <coughs> come on, come on! Magical, magical! Magical long term past quencher! Secret formula inherited from my great great grandfather. Integrated with the latest technology discovery, this magical is most fantastic long term past quenchers. Come on, come on! Magic pills, magic pills! This is the modern man best friend! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can you tell us what the magic pill is for? You ask me what this magic pill is for? Well, let me tell you, this magic pill is the time hungry modern man best friend. One pill, just one magic pill can last you guys one whole week without any drop of water. What? One pill? It can go on a week without taking one drop of water? Wow. Yes sir, that's exactly what I say. One magic pill, one long term thirst quenchers can last you guys one whole week without any drop of water. Now ladies and gentlemen, I would like to ask you guys a very, very simple question. How much time do you guys take each day to drink water? Anyone know? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Too long. Do you know how much time? How much time, sir? Gentlemen? 3 minutes. How much time? 3 minutes? Yes. Too short. How about you? You don't drink water? <laughs> <laughs> an hour, I think you'll get bloated if you drink half an hour water. How about you? No, I'm a No one seems to know the answer. Then let me tell you how much time it takes each day to drink water. How much time? The answer is... <clears throat> According to the reliable surveys conducted by the authoritative Wonderland Times, the answer is 8 minutes! 8 minutes per day per person! If you don't believe me? If you don't believe me? You believe me? I haven't told you yet. So, then let me show you, let me and my assistant show you how it's computed. Ready, folks? I can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> ready? No, no, no. Okay. No, no. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. You walk over. You take the cattle. You bring the cattle. You walk to the cattle. You walk to the cattle. You walk to the cattle. I'm very tired, ready? <laughs> okay, stop the music. Stop the music. So, like the boy. Or the guy say, you take half an hour to drink water. But it's not true. You need eight minutes only. Eight minutes exactly on average. Eight minutes. Eight minutes up? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, if you live in a two member family, your average time with your drinking water will be 56 minutes. And if you 
Uh, leave it alone. Yes, you. Don't look at me right now. Leave it alone. Eight minutes. time wasted will be 15 minutes, which makes it 105 minutes. Just think, what a waste it is. How many better things we can do than to waste them on drinking water? And if you, if you work it out in terms of money, you will be even more stunned. Stunned. The 56 minutes spent on drinking water will cost you no more than $30 per month. And that will be $360 a year. If you add up everybody's loss together, nearly 5 million, 5 million, huh? 5 million of us in this country, total money wasted will be. Hey, wait, sorry, I need to call. <laughs> Mm, where are we are? Ah, one billion dollars! Ah, one billion dollars! Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, why don't all of us make it a habit to buy the long-term first ventures? Just imagine, if all of you buy long-term first ventures, I assure you, you, the one using phone, you, 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 all, everyone here, the, all the problems the world will disappear and the world will become a far better yeah. and richer place. Yes. We may even have more water to use uh, and even yes, swimming yes. pool to build in our uh, home. A uh, home. <laughs> <laughs> so, how Not about you folks? Buy a bag of Buy a bag of you? Are 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 you? Flowers? What? Huh? <laughs> yes. Uh, roses. Roses? Huh? Um, <laughs> do you know how to protect the rose from being eaten up by the goat? Goat? Eat the roses? Do you know what's wrong with this girl? <laughs> We've just been talking about something of great importance. Something that the welfare of the nation and the world. And this girl here, talking about roses? What's wrong with this girl? Yo! Yo, yo! <laughs> yo, yo! Look at this! Yo! Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is a typical case of... Oh, fashion. And outdatedness. Just imagine, we have all already entered a computer age. And our friend there... The granny. She's still using fucking the water from a dirty well. Not only for herself, but for equally old-fashioned husband. How unhygienic, how uncivilized, how unmodern, how stupid. <laughs> Ladies, and uh, my gentlemen, <laughs> you are witnessing a chronic case of someone ignorantly resisting the glorious fruits of scientific discovery, slowly wasting her life away in completely meaningless occupations. <laughs> Granny, why don't you take her magic pill? Take? Huh? Why do you go to so much trouble to get water from the well? Mine. Mine tastes nice. Yours tastes nice. Avish! Avish! <laughs> mine tastes nice. Yeah. I got any taste you want. Yeah. Your, your taste. No taste. Mine no Buy all this! Rubbish! Have any taste you want? Yeah. Orange, apple, uh, orange. ramadan, apple. Lijin, Lijin, banana, uh, vanilla, uh, durian, uh, durian uh, and watermelon. Uh, What's uh, this? Uh, You're a scot! Uh, yeah. Granny, you're the taste. Stupid taste! Granny, why don't you take her first venture magic pill and save your energy? Uh, save time. Save? Your energy. Save? Your, your time. time. Safe energy, safe time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Safe, safe, safe energy, energy safe, safe time. time. Oh, uh, Granny, do you know how to protect 
The little prince from Planet BB88. I've come to look for the old gardener because my rose. I'm sorry, she passed away. Oh. Well, tell me your problem. My planet has the one and only rose. I spent so much heart and energy to nurture it, and now it's the most beautiful thing on my planet. Recently, I've also been keeping a little goat. However, the, the goat it plants, so I'm afraid that the goat will one day eat up the rose. He doesn't want to tie up the road, and he doesn't want to fence up the road. He doesn't know what else to do. I've asked many people, and they all say there's no way. They say I must either tie up the goat or fence up the rose. Well, we met this old granny by the well, and she said the old gardener would know how to solve the problem. 